Hello, this is Yelena Ozegovich from the Kansas City, Kansas Community College Center for Teaching Excellence. And the purpose of this video today is to show you how to run some course reports in Blackboard that will give you information about your course assessment and the progress of the outcomes or outcomes and competencies that your students have made in the course. This video should be watched and course reports should be run after you have already added the alignments in Blackboard, meaning that you've already gone into the Grade Center and connected which assignment or exam or discussion board or paper aligns to a specific outcome in the course. If you haven't done that already, please go back and watch the previous video on how to do that. The other thing that you need to be aware of is that it's necessary for 24 hours to pass after the alignments have been put in or after a paper or a assignment has been graded that that information or that data can connect to the kind of back end where these course reports um, are housed so that the, the data or the alignments um, need 24 hours to basically process before you can run a report. So there are three reports I'm going to talk about today. The first one is the course coverage report. The second one is the course performance report. And the third one is the goal performance report. The first two, the course coverage report and the course performance report, um, are run using the evaluation tab. The goal performance report is run using a different tab. So in the course coverage report, this is a report that tells you which outcomes are connected to which assignments. So it gives you a real broad overview um, to make sure that every outcome that's in your course or outcome and competency is actually connected to an assignment or an exam or whatever. Then the course performance report is a report that gives you basically aggregate data for how your entire class performed on um, the outcomes in the course or the outcomes and competencies. And then the goal performance report is a report that is specific to each student and it gives you an idea of how each student performed on each outcome or outcome and competency. All right, so the first two reports I'm going to show you how to run are the course coverage report and the course performance report. And the way that you're going to run that is you're going to go down here to the um, course management control panel. You're going to click on evaluation and then you're going to click on course reports. So this will bring up this whole list and certainly you can play around and look at these various course reports that you can run, but the two that we think are of most interest are the course coverage report and the course performance report. So first I'm going to talk about the course coverage report. And again, when you put your cursor next to it, you get this little gray chevron. I'm going to click on the chevron and click run. Um, and that this report runs relatively quickly and it will give you an idea after I hit submit um, it will give you an idea to make sure that all your course outcomes are connected to either an assignment or a exam or a paper so after you hit submit you're going to click download and then this is the course coverage report what it looks like this is for a psychology 101 course this is a course that is KBOR aligned, um, meaning that these are the nine outcomes that the Kansas Board of Regents institutions um, across the state, the psychology faculty have come together and talked about what the nine outcomes are for this course, whether you take it at um, K-State or KCKCC or wherever in the state of Kansas, the same um, outcomes are being taught in Psych 101. It is a KBOR aligned course. So that also means that the psychology faculty cannot change these outcomes because it is KBOR aligned. All right. So this report, you can see there's nine outcomes. I know that all nine are covered. This up here gives you some kind of basically summary information about is it aligned to a test? How many are aligned to a test? How many are aligned to graded items? The other thing is as you continue to scroll down, you can see here is one of the outcomes in this course, recognize categories of psychological disorders and treatments. And then you can see here are the assignments and the discussion boards and exams that all align to that particular outcome. 
as you continue to scroll down, here's another outcome, identify historical foundations and current trends in psychology. Again, you can see um, that this outcome as well has something aligned to it, and this report provides you that information. Um, and uh, it just makes sure that you have all the outcomes are aligned to something in the grade book. Now, so that was the course coverage report. That's all a report, a good report to run just to make sure that all everything is covered that needs to be covered. The next report um, that is of interest to faculty, we think, is also in the course reports section. Again, I did that by going to evaluation. I clicked on course reports, and again, this list comes up. This is the course performance report, and this gives you information about how your entire class performed on um, the outcomes. So again, when I put my cursor next to it, I get the little green chevron. I'm going to click run. And in this course performance report, the faculty member teaching the course determines what is an appropriate target performance level. I'm teaching, this is a Psychology 101 course, which is a gateway course, meaning that lots and lots and lots of students take this course at the college. It's a typical um, course that most college students take. Um, and so that also means we have a wide variety of performance levels in this course. Um, if you're teaching another course, for example, maybe in health professions, you want to set a target performance level of 80%. That's really up to each faculty member to do. So once you set that target performance level, you're going to click Submit. And again, um, you're going to get the option to download this report. I'm actually not going to download this report right now because it will also provide information connected to student names, and I don't want, um, obviously, to disclose student names and their performance in my course, but I do want to give you an idea of what it looks like. And here is a sample course performance report that I've kind of um, blinded, so I removed any student name information. Um, but it gives you an idea of what, what you would get if you were to run this in this course. Again, here's the 70% that I set earlier. Again, re please remember this is a gateway course, so you're going to have a lot of students who um, are, may not be performing very well in this course, who, um, you know, this is not a course that uh, is a, a major course, so you might expect students that are taking a, a major course might perform better, but it gives you an idea of um, their performance. And also, right here is where it would list each student's performance based on this target level, which I've obviously removed. And then also down here, it gives you information by the overall average of each outcome based on the outcome and then how the entire class performed on that outcome. And this is really the important part to have conversations um, among uh, faculty within your discipline about um, performance by outcomes in the course. So that was the example of the course performance report. Um, the last thing I want to show you is the goal performance report. And I'm just going to show you very quickly. This is what the goal performance report looks like. Um, and I'm going to show you it. It will provide information by each student. Again, this is a sample of a report that I've blinded, but I want to show you how to get there. And um, the way that you're going to do that is this is not located in, in the Evaluation tab. This is actually located in the Course Tools tab in the Control Panel. And when you click on Course Tools, um, you will see an alphabetical order. It comes up, and you'll see a, a tab that says Goal Performance. Now, I'm, I'm not going to click on this right now, because if I did, it would give you, again, my students' information, um, and I don't, I don't want to do that. Um, so what that would look like, just so you get a sense of what it would look like, um, I've blinded a version of that. If I were to click on the Goal Performance, this is exactly um, what might come up. So here's a blinded version, username, first name, last name, student ID, and email. Um, for every student in your course, you would get that goal performance report. And the way that you access it is by clicking on the username. You'll see it when you run the report. It's highlighted a little bit different color, and that's what you would click on 
to get this goal performance report. Um, the last thing I want to show you is how you can create a tool link for your students so that they can run their own goal performance report. So again, this is a way to, so a student in your class can get this report for themselves and obviously as an instructor you can get that report for your entire course. The way that you're going to do that is by going here in the upper left corner, you're going to click on the, the plus here and then an option that you have is a tool link and this goal performance report is actually a tool link. You're going to type in goal performance, you're going to pull down in this drop down menu, one of your options for the tools is the goal performance tool. You're going to make it available to your users and then you're going to hit submit and you can see here was a goal performance tab that I just created um, and I personally tend to drag it up and put it right by my grades because I think students are used to clicking on my grades to get their course grades. You can also create this goal performance tab and they can click on goal performance to get their goal performance report. If I were to click on it right now as the instructor, it's um, not really going to give me anything because it says only students have goal performance calculations. The way that I would get that information as the instructor is, again, I showed you, you would go to course tools and click goal performance and that's how you would get this report. All right, so hopefully um, now you know how to run these reports. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us here at the Center for Teaching Excellence. You can um, also email us at cte at kckcc.edu. Thank you.